This is a, actually is not a CFL light bulb. Compact fluorescent light bulbs, they're great. They do reduce greenhouse gases, they can save money. The Federal Energy Independence and Security Act, the goal is to switch completely to energy efficient light bulbs by the year 2014. Great, right? Yes, but you can't treat them like your old incandescent light bulbs, just throw them in the garbage because CFLs contain mercury. Mercury, as we've discussed in the show, is considered toxic, it's a hazardous waste. Mercury poisoning can have a lot of bad effects, particularly mm -hmm. on kids. Mm -hmm. Detrimental development effects in kids. It's tied to sensory impairment. So make sure you're checking label for mercury levels as well as disposal requirements. But we're going to demo right now what you should do if you do happen to break a CFL light bulb. Knock, have you guys ever had one of these break on you? I have not. No. I, but no. I didn't no. know it was so too. important. Pregnant women, mercury. mercury is bad. Yeah. Because, and they've got babies. So exactly. pregnant women probably shouldn't be the ones cleaning up mm -hmm. if you do break a CFL bulb. Yeah. Open the windows, you wanna turn off the AC and heat. You can go ahead and leave the home for 15 minutes. If, yeah. And just, you don't wanna be right there the minute those potential vapors yeah, are released. Yeah. Don't vacuum or sweep. Number one, use gloves. Gloves that you're never going to use again. You don't want to touch this stuff with your bare hands. Use cardboard to go ahead and help pick up anything on a hardwood floor. And Dr. Lisa, I'm going to have you help me out. You're not pregnant, are you? No, no. Are you sure? <laughs> as far as I know. Okay. That'd be, that'd be big news. <laughs> uh, so I'm using the cardboard. Good. Watch out. And we're just using this for demo purposes. This is a, actually is not a CFL. So I'm getting a little more, and if there's any left, I will take a damp cloth, pick it up, throw that away as well. But what do you do yeah. if it's on carpet? Well, the big pieces, Dr. Lisa, I'm gonna move this a little bit over closer mm -hmm. to you. The big pieces, you can still use cardboard. Again, I've got my gloves on. Dr. Lisa would normally have gloves on. But now what do I do? You know, what do I do? I've, I, I've gotten as much out as I can but as you can see, there's a lot of glass left. Don't vacuum or sweep. So Dr. Okay. Lewis, will you hand me that duct tape? Oh. So the glass is still there. What you can do, believe it or not, is take duct tape to get up these loose pieces. So use the duct tape that will grab onto the glass. See that? Mm -hmm. Nice. Voila, dispose of it. I'm not gonna do all this right now. I'll Thank finish you. my job later. But then everything goes into this bag. The cardboard, the gloves, I do like this color on me. I know. Really, I nice. was hoping they were for me, but that's okay. And then, <laughs> last but not least, you're going to double bag it. You all wow, get the idea. I hope I don't break the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> And then so take it easier outside, to just get it out in the garbage, <laughs> and, and take unbroken it, CFL bulbs right. to a recycling center that has a toxic waste center, or your local hardware store oftentimes will have a way to dispose of these in a proper manner. When used properly, they're great. They're great. Other, other dangers with light sources, though, Dr. Lisa. Halogen. Now, halogen, really, it can get really, really hot. A 300-watt bulb can get up to 970 degrees. That's so you don't. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to put it by curtains, about anything mm -hmm. flammable, combustible fumes or fluids. So you got to be really, really careful with halogen. You know, there's been a lot of college dorms that have banned the floor lamps with the halogen bulbs because they can get knocked over mm -hmm. pretty easily yeah. and then cause a big fire. 